Good day fine people, it's a Nick here and we're looking at match day 2 on the ZX Spectrum 48k published by Ocean Software in 1987. This game also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64 if you're interested and probably a few other things as well. Uh, I've already reviewed the prequels, so Match Day from 1984 and International Match Day in 85, and they were practically the same game. And I was hopeless at them, so we'll see what happens here. Now I've got a choice of one or two player, or quite an interesting feature, Twin Player Match Day, where two players um, compete against the computer. Well, interesting. Let's look at the options here. Uh, we want it on... Um, um, well, as terrible as possible really. I need a computer to control my keeper because I haven't been very good at that in the past. It looks like the lowest it can go is 5. I wanted it to go to 3, but anyway. Yes. So can I get a goal? Well, we already know. Probably um, not, Nick. Computer skill low. My skill low. What could possibly go wrong? The original match day games I thought were a bit slow. Uh, they seem to be the sort of games that you need to be playing them round about that same time to get a bit of nostalgia. Um, it's like passed me by a little bit, but we'll give this a fair crack of the whip, see how it plays, and as we see what strips are available. Uh, well, we'll probably do white versus yellow, to be fair. Players look slightly different in this one to the prequel. I wonder if the game plays quicker or improves slightly. Options to change the team names if you want to, but we haven't got time to do that sort of thing. We just want to get into the game, play one game, and see how it plays. Is it any quicker? There's the tactics. You do attacking or defending, I think. And that's basically it. Are you an attacking player or a defending player? I haven't played this on the Amstrad CBC or the Commodore 64. If you have, let me know. Does it play quicker? Does it play worse? Or does it play round about exactly the same? We'll do a one player, because I'm the only person here. Um, I think that's like a handicapping system. When the Saints go marching in. Well, very good. The original match day played the theme music to Match of the Day on BBC TV. I think I prefer that. Uh, it looks quite similar. There's a power gauge now going up in the middle. That's different. So if we time that, I presume we can do a big kick. The ball looks exactly the same. Uh, players look slightly more defined. They've got bigger hair. Uh, yeah, I'm the uh, white ones, if you're, if you're unsure. Um, and it's easy to tell I'm the white ones because I haven't got the ball. And I might show it's ever so slightly quicker, but not a great deal quicker. The animation is better with the legs, but again, it, oh dear, again it looks a little bit lethargic. The ball's a bit like a grapefruit being kicked around. Save it! Oh, hit the crossbar. Come on. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to be... Is that a goal? Oh, we're one near down. Looks like I'm going to be as hopeless as this as I am in the, uh, the first one. The 128k version of International Match Day had a, a cheering crowd. Sound a bit rustly. Uh, this has just got the sounds of the ball and the occasional blip or bleep. You need a bit of skill on this, but once you've mastered it, you can do back hills, pass the balls in different directions, uh, boot the ball up the field with great finesse, and it's all these things I haven't got. Uh, there's a very, very small shadow under the ball, but not very much. Occasional white dot. Oh, let's get him. Come back. Oh, we're going to get another goal here. That's in, surely that's in. Well done, 2-0. I'm Ripman United and Sokorama 2-0 up. Well, I need to bribe the ref or something like I did in the last of you. But yeah, I just haven't got the rhythm of the gameplay. People gave me tips on other versions of this, well the earlier versions of Match Day and International Match Day, and I still was pretty hopeless. I just can't get it. Uh, my entry level into football, really, I'd have to say, was on the Commodore Amiga with Italian 90 and um, Striker, and then the main ones, the Kickoff Series and Sensible Soccer. I've uh, got a bit more idea on that one. Um, it's a bit easier to get into rhythm with a bit of speed, but let's give this um, fair dues. There's a lot moving on the screen at the same time. Ball physics are quite hard to control. Well, program, I should say. It's for me. Because uh, it's the only first time I've played it, it seems quite similar to the first one, although with different graphics, there's not a great deal going on. Looks like you can walk it in as well. Some people would have played this a lot in their childhood. 
got really good at it and think it's the greatest game ever, but nostalgia's always got... Oh, look at that goal. Oh, it wasn't a goal, it went wide. But nostalgia, as I was saying, has got a great part to play. Uh, we've got 24 minutes in, reflective, not a real 24 minutes. So I think this game is getting used to that power bar going up and down. I think that's what it is. Seem to be a few dots above the player's head. That must mean something. Tackling's almost impossible, so you just walk in front of the players, hopefully to get it. Uh, he's just walked it into the goal. Why couldn't we have tackled? No options for sliding tackles here, unfortunately. But uh, it's of an era, 1987, getting a little bit late in the day for this sort of thing. But yeah, it's got a feel to it. A little bit of colour bleed between the players. Options to change the colour of the pitch as well, like the predecessors, you know, black or blue. But green is better, I suppose, for grass. It's quite a pleasant game without being sensational. Some people give this 10 out of 10. Me being late on it, I could take it or leave it, really. I, I'd rather play something else. Now, when you talk about retro games, going right back to the 70s with uh, Atari computers, there must be so many football games now, I'm not sure why you'd come back to this, unless you played it, as I say, a lot of the time as a child. If you did play this a lot, then let me know. But I'd have to give it marks for the skill of coding here. It's better than fighting soccer. I'd say it was on a par with the predecessors, maybe ever so slightly better, ever so slightly quicker. But it's more of the same sort of thing, really. But, you know, for people that weren't used to the kickoff series, some people might say kickoff is the same as kickoff 2 or same as player manager, but if you play them a lot, you know there's subtle differences between them all. So, connoisseurs, really. Right, can we tackle these people? Come on, the white team. Get in front of him. No, look at that. They seem to be able to kick it around the pitch with much better ease than I can. I can't get any passing together at all. Is that going to go in? Terrible goalkeeping. Way, and this is computer controlled. But having said that, it's probably better than I would do. Right, we're 4-0 down. Can I, can I change this in my favour here? Can we cheat? Oh, look, looks like we can add goals on. Right, OK, so we're scoring lots of goals at half-time. What's a safe number for them not to beat me? How high can this go? I think probably 47. Yeah, 47 goals. We'll go with that. Yeah, boom, 47. So it's now 47 plays four. Uh, they went in at half-time, 4-0 up, all celebrating and opening champagne and jumping around a bit. As soon as they come onto the pitch for the second half, they'll look at the scoreboard and see that they're losing 47-4. Ha ha ha! Because I can, I can think my way around problems. Tough luck, lads. You're, you're ne I'm never going to lose 43 goals, or will I? I lost four goals in the first half. 47-4. It's a thrashing. I am pretty skillful. Again, I think there might be an investigation into how this happened. But anyone that's backing me to win uh, with a score of 47, uh, well done. Um, let's see if I can stop them scoring any goals. Let's see if we can keep it to this, or indeed I can get one get to the legendary 48 goals and I don't recall any match ever where the team scored 48 if you're used to go and watching football games over the park or your local teams that aren't professional you might see some alarmingly big goal scoring matches there what's the biggest yeah as I mentioned it what's the biggest ever scoring game you've ever watched up the park or anywhere let me know as much as 47 I'll be surprised but you know interesting to know right come on oh I was trying to run it up the other end there with an amazing piece of um, Zinedine Zidane Diego Maradona skills but I didn't have it all oh, good shot missed oh no oh no it's five place 47 now they're on the start of an amazing comeback because they all look a bit like C3PO now I must be able to beat C3PO the chance, the odds of beating Sue Freepio is 63,806 to 1. But I'm going to do it here, I think. Right. This ball seems a bit heavy. Heavy balls. Do your own jokes. Right, here we go. Here we don't go. Come on, tackle it. Oh, man. Come on. Uh, we got, we're, we're 64 minutes into the game. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with football, which uh, might be a few of you, um, not very many of you, a game lasts 90 minutes and then there's a bit of injury time added on if there's been injuries. But no one can get injured in this game as far as I'm aware. 
apart from you if you drop your joystick on your foot or something and your joystick's made out of lead there's very few go there's very few joysticks made out of lead they tend to be made out of some sort of plastic whoa that's not going in terrible shot right can we hold on for 21 minutes with our 42 goal lead possibly we're gonna have a good goal difference in the league but this is just a one-off match you can do cup or league championship you can edit the team names as well so you can put your name down the bottom there I should have been Jenkin Rovers perhaps or Igor Town are they gonna score another goal they're leaving it a bit late in the day just get everyone behind the ball Nick they're not gonna score or are they yeah I don't think you can do corners in this game uh, I might be wrong it's just throw-ons and stuff like that now the only goal I've scored in recorded um, footage of the match day series is in the first one from 1984 and it wasn't really a real goal because I I scored from the throw on ie I just threw it in the goal no oh that's in good good goal um soccer armor sixth place 47 they've reduced the deficit to 41 goals with 11 minutes to go so people are good at maths how many goals do they have to score a minute to beat us it'd be a hell of, hell of a colossal collapse here See, look, I'm losing the ball straight from the kickoff. Oh dear, I know you've all given me tips before, but give me more tips. Maybe keep my eyes open when I play, maybe something like that, but I'm absolutely and utterly, totally hopeless. I must be the worst player in the world at this. Who's worse? If you're worse, comment below. I'll be surprised. And tell me why you're worse. Oh no. That's another goal. Seven plays, 40. They're almost in range of 40 goals here, but there's only five minutes left. There's no way that Rickman United are going to lose this game. Ugh. Right, the power gauge is um, master that and you're probably doing okay. Can you do back heels? I haven't done a back heel yet. No overhead kicks. You can't do um, any dive headers. Although I think the players can head it if you catch it right. That's it. So it's the final score. And as you suspected, I won because I'm so good at this game. 47-7. Uh, Excellent stuff. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was a match day two published by Ocean Software in 1987. There isn't a match day three that I can recall. Um, thanks for uh, watching as I say if you've got any comments about this game or any in the series then please put them below I love hearing from you or any other spectrum games that uh, to do with football there and until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye